Well, uh, let's get this set up here. Um, we did it. You and I are running a pretty similar setup. Yeah. The only difference is you're running, you got a body mounted pack and I have the, the handlebar pack. All right, so we are headed out. We're technically not in Cincinnati yet. Uh, we're st we stayed in Newport, Kentucky, which is right across the river. Had a better chance for parking. So we are leaving the hotel. Um, we're gonna stop and get some breakfast and then we are off. So we're about to hit this McDonald's right here and uh, Get some grub. I think a sausage, egg, biscuit. Uh, yummy. yummy. So this is pretty interesting. It's actually my first time doing something this extravagant. Um, and to date, my longest ride is only 83 miles. And this is a total of 330 miles. So this should be pretty fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. Start point. Everyone's ready. Let's do this. All right, so I think we're finally hitting trail. Nice. That's a good breeze. It's a good trail too. Yeah. So I think the shop we're trying to go to is closed. Hopefully not, because this was supposed to be lunch. I think uh, the lunch place we're gonna go to is closed, but apparently 14 miles up there is another spot, so I think we're just gonna try to go there. Lunch was an absolute success. Right. Exactly what we were craving. Turkey club on a croissant. And the good thing is we're only like 30 miles out from the hotel. So, between navigational problems, lunch problems, and now we have a broken clip mm. on your left foot. So, yeah, we're trying to find a bike shop. Uh, and for some reason, Apple Maps is just not coming through today on anything, food or whatever. So, we're gonna talk to some locals. Hey, how far out from Xenia are you guys? The screw came out. Ah, so it didn't break. There's no bike shop, literally anywhere, and you'd think there'd be bike shops all along this path. No. So, long story short, we have to divert from our path here up in Cedarville and go up 72 to Springfield. Tack on 17 mile detour. Tack on 17 miles to the trip, give or take, uh, to a cycle shop. We already called them. And they have what we're looking for, so uh, what the heck, YOLO. Harnessing My our inner Lewis and Clark. Made it. All salty and all. Well, we are out of the rain. Ice, because she doesn't have a lot of ice in there. Okay. 
So we're gonna go to IGA, wherever that was. All right. And get a cup. So other than it being hotter than Texas in here, it feels like pretty nice. So I burned 5,500 calories during the ride. I'm trying to get as much calories in as I can. Gotta fuel up. Well, it's like 4.40, 4.30, something in the morning. Um, I think we're planning to pull out around 5.30. Um, but the two guys that were with us, Dwayne and Joe, um, they did real good yesterday. I mean, they, they blasted it, they got, uh, even though Austin, I think, ended with 110 because of our extra ride into Springfield, uh, they ended with like 90, um, which is huge. Neither of them have got close to that before as bike riders. Um, and so they did a really good job, uh, but they were, it was just so hot. And uh, I think they're a little nervous. And so they decided to take the win of 90 miles and saying, hey, we did this. And just to be safe, um, they want, they're going to head back and cheer us on. So Austin are going to keep going and finish this thing out, um, but they are going to um, just take some rest and uh, not try to overdo it. So I respect that. I think it's good. you got to listen to your body. you got to listen to yourself. Wish they could come with us, um, but Austin and I are going to keep going. So I have to get packed up and uh, head out. So I didn't really record breakfast. Um, we were just having a conversation with the guys and just talking about like a plan and it stinks that they can't finish with us so we're just us just talking but now we are headed out about to pack the bikes up okay all right just kind of looping around the road here Stay there tonight, nice B&B, bed and breakfast. No breakfast, because COVID. She left some bananas for us, very nice lady. And uh, we are out. Ready? Let's go this way, all right? See you guys. every 10 or so miles uh, you know just take some water this we were supposed to do 88 yesterday and also and I ended up doing 110 so that'll be like two really heavy days so we're trying to take it easy today um, but yeah just chilling hanging out Sun's starting to come up a little bit but it's really cool riding alongside these trains <sighs> taking uh, the safe route and uh, walking our bikes. There's a section of this, it looks like it's some crushed limestone and I'm just not looking to get a flat, so. Well, as you saw, I decided to not be safe and I navigated the, uh, the trickiness of the gravel and made it out with no flat, so that's a win. So uh, we've had a couple of detours today, roads that aren't there anymore, and a bridge that's out. We're hoping the path isn't like gone. I have to walk the bike, walk the bikes around again. So we're gonna stop up here, take a breather, get some water. Currently, the creme de la creme are these stinger waffles because it's just like it doesn't taste like your common like healthy like like mid ride food that's like super jelly or like salty. It's just like waffly goodness. Found this really cool spot. So we're headed into Columbus. 
over there they have this like cool decal of Cincinnati and then we're headed to Cleveland so it was cool took a set the GoPro up took a really wide photo uh, it's just kind of awesome Out of the vlog. Hello, vlog. Oh, I got to see Josh. We got one last stop before we kind of make the final trek into uh, Danville. I think we're gonna try to go to the church that I worked at a couple years ago. Let's go. All right. I'll meet you guys there. Actually, it'll be good. We're going down this one road. Oh. Yeah, we do. They won't mass now. Like, no matter what weight he's at, he can jump on the treadmill. All right, I'm Isaac Cowden. You're watching Braxton and Alex. <laughs> See you, dude. All right, All right, dude, leaving Chipotle, trying to hit this route. Wish us luck. Don't want to die. And you know, in life, you learn to get super thankful for the small things. And when you ride up and there's like a decently shaded area, you just feel so blessed. We are baking, no trees, and a ton of sun. Uh, it's extremely cold. Oh, good. you are a lifesaver. This is what you call liquid gold right here. About to dump this in my bottle. Shut it. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're about to hit sunburn. Finally made it off of those country roads and we're in some paths. Trail for a good bit and uh, we actually stopped at a gas station, got a lot of fluids, ice, uh, dumped some water on our heads. Oh man, 107 miles to the finish and uh, finally get to sleep. If you're ever looking for a B&B or an Airbnb, but yeah, this is the winery. Um, it's kind of weird, like middle of nowhere spot. What the guy was telling me is this house was built in like the 1830s as like a railroad stop. So it's actually been a bed and breakfast um, since it was built. Grease, don't mind the grease. We cleaned our bikes and you gotta get dirty. You wanna tell them about the food while I go pay for it? This sounds great. We ordered stromboli, wings, deep dish pizza, regular pizza, two Italian subs, and a six pack of Coke. <laughs> Thanks, Julius. You've been great. Yep, it, it is absolutely my pleasure. So uh, the road leading into this place is pretty pretty rough gravel, and we rode down it pretty slow yesterday. Um, but we're gonna walk it today just to be safe. We aired up the tires and uh, just double checked everything. Like I said, got the bike cleaned last night, so it should be pretty good. Uh, also, I thought I would address something because if you're watching this video. 
you'll notice I've worn the same clothes while cycling every single day. And Austin's been in a different kit um, the last two days. Every night that we've stayed somewhere, so tonight and the last two nights, or last night, um, I just like hand washed it. So in the shower, just like some soap, lather it up, you know, wash it and dry it and wear it the next day. So it is in fact clean. And I'm not some bum that just wears the same clothes over and over again. All right, day three is loaded on the Wahoo. Beautiful sunset, sunrise. stop on so like 30 feet for uh, about a mile and a half I think or right at a mile hardest part about it <laughs> it wasn't even paved um, hard rocks I mean like it was like bad hiking so we uh, put our sandals on and we walked the bikes <sighs> lost a lot of time but no flat tires Good, how are you? Pretty healthy choice if you ask me. So, it's a sol solid spot. So we just came from over there, climbed a decent ways, and the best sight ever, man. Topping this hill, and it's all downhill. What pretty country this is. And look at this picturesque place, dude. Killed it. Uh, wow. Isn't that nice? Topping these little bumps and just seeing all these little farmhouses pop up and it's super cool. I wish you could understand how good this donut is. The adventures. Oh yeah. Here we go. Do that. All right. Well, we're off. I gotta catch Austin. I let him go ahead. Uh, man, 
25 miles out. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us, but I don't want to have to stop again, so. He's uh, not feeling very good and uh, I'm just ready to get off the bike so I'll go up a lot and then wait. So let's assess the damage. Pretty dirty, but the bike's held up. No flats, no uh, major mechanical failures. We just have limestone and gravel in every crevice of these bikes. So we'll have to do some pretty good cleaning on them before we finish out tomorrow. Waking up at seven-ish is way better than waking up at like 4.30. See 40 miles today. Um, I'm gonna meet some friends around noon in uh, Cleveland. So, just took it easy. Um, it's pretty cool. Breakfast, here we come. So, today is our easiest day. We are uh, headed into Cleveland, leaving the hotel. But uh, we're going to get soaked. I think it's safe to say it's pretty wet. Worse than it was yesterday. Might slow us down a bit. But uh, we're going to finish this thing strong. city areas so the guy that I just asked it all the way to Cleveland basically pavement we did get the bike speed off a little bit um, it got thick I wasn't even able to clip in my brakes were rubbing gears weren't shifting so pretty excited to be coming into Cleveland with a little bit easier terrain together for a number of years. We used to argue all the time. We are both servants of the Lord yes. on worship teams in different states. We still somehow stay interested in the same things throughout our entire friendship. Braxton's actually the reason I got into video and photography. Braxton picked up cycling 
which I was kind of into a while back, but had been feeling lately. And then when he bought his bike, now I'm like, man, I gotta get my frame fixed. Monster, like monster with an O at the end. Okay. They're they're so cool. Yeah. 